Bruno has said, the impact of the climate crisis is unmistakable and without any question, in my mind, poses an existential threat to our entire planet. Um, but we also know that there are solutions at hand. Well, we are speaking with Dr. Jane Goodall, who is delivering in a very important speech tonight at Florida International University. Local 10 environmental advocate Louie Aguirre is live with the urgent message she has for all of us. Louie. Yeah, pretty exciting day here. We're about an hour and 15 minutes away from Showtime. Dr. Jane Goodall here in South Florida to share a very special message with all of us that she'll deliver tonight here at FIU's Ocean Bank Convocation Center, one of hope one of resilience, uh, one of no matter what is showing up, no matter how overwhelming the problems of the world seem, never give up. There is always a path forward. Why South Florida? Why today? What did you come here to share with us? Well, I came here to share the fact that we have a window of time to try and slow down climate change and loss of biodiversity. Some scientists say we've reached the point of no return already, and I don't believe that. This part of Florida seems to need that message. How was your trip? How was your drive from Tampa? Dr. Jane Goodall bringing her message of hope to South Florida, addressing a sold-out crowd of 3,400 people tonight at FIU's Ocean Bank Convocation Center. You yourself as an individual can't slow down climate change, but act locally. Find something you care about in your community. Maybe it's the trash in the streets, maybe it's dirty rivers, and whatever it is, see what you can do about it. And then you'll see that here I can make a difference. And that makes you feel good. The 88-year-old conservationist, climate activist, UN messenger of peace, rose to prominence after her groundbreaking research in the 1960s, behaviorally linking chimpanzees to humans when she observed them turning sticks and twigs into tools to get food. I wasn't <clears throat> surprised to see the chimps using tools, but I did know that science believed that we were the only tool-using creatures. And you disrupted that. So I disrupted that. No, the chimps did. The chimps did. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't me. It was here in the forest of Gombe in Tanzania that a then 23-year-old Jane found her calling, protecting and restoring the biodiversity of the planet. She's been at it ever since, traveling the globe 300 days a year as the protective godmother of all creatures big and small, even us. If I want to save this planet or do my bit, then... The more people that can be inspired and the media can inspire, the better. Mm -hmm. And what I want the media to do now is to give as much time to the good and positive that's happening. I mean, we need to know about the doom and gloom, and it is doom and gloom, no question. But I've met so many incredible people doing fabulous projects all around the world. She is so inspiring, Dr. Jane Goodall, challenging all of us to start with one thing. All of us can do one thing every single day to make the world a better place. <laughs>